Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you how to take care of your mail problem while living here in the Philippines. Stick around. So guys, when I moved out to the Philippines, one thing I had was my mail issue. And the mail issue, I never really put a lot of thought in it. I simply said, hey, mom, can you handle my mail? Well, I'll have it forwarded to you and uh, you know, you could just tell me what I have and if it's really important, maybe you could just forward it to me. Well, I since have stopped that. Uh, one, my mom's getting a bit elderly and to rely on her while she's maybe traveling around across the US, uh, you know, she does that so often. And to wait on a piece of mail that gets to her house and sometimes she forgets about it or she'll open it and then she doesn't really have a way to scan it so she'll just take a picture of it and I can hardly read it. Uh, so I started thinking, I was like, you know what, I need to just switch to some mail service. And actually somebody, a friend of mine, told me about this and it's called Traveling Ma Mailbox and I've had it now for a few months, already had experience with it being uh, used here and I want to share that with you because a lot of you guys might be in the same predicament if you're moving out to the Philippines or even maybe just going out here for like a trial run like six months or something you may be thinking what do I do with my mail what's the best way to keep the mail flowing and be able to see what I'm getting you know maybe you're waiting for something but you don't want to have that uh, stop your trip well I'm going to show you traveling mailbox and some of the features that it has that uh, I really like Hi guys, so like I said, there's a link down in the description of the service. Now when I signed up, I went uh, and initially I was going to choose, I think it was $15 basic plan. Okay, get started, 40 incoming envelopes per month, 35 page scans per month, three mailbox recipients, free mail shredding, junk mail doesn't count, unlimited cloud storage, change plans anytime, your scans rollover was not included okay which wasn't really important so 15 bucks a month I said hey that's a good deal so if you click on uh, get started uh, you might need the extended plan or a small business it depends now I quickly realized the $15 plan basically means you would have an address in Sanford North Carolina uh, because that is their who for people who don't need an address of a particular location, then you would use this one. So it's cheaper. Now, if you want an exact location, maybe you want to maintain residence in a certain state, you know, for example, I actually did Florida and uh, I'm originally from Orlando and I went down here and they have Orlando. Now, if you specifically choose a state, it's going to be 1995. Okay, so you can do monthly you can do annually and get two months free i wanted to try it out first to make sure i liked it so i chose one month orlando was a premium address so i went ahead and subscribed and i now have a florida address basically how it works is the mail comes in they send you an email i think the best idea is to actually just play the video and let you watch and see how it works hey travelers digital nomads expats snowbirds, businesses, and military families. Are you tired of wasting time running to the post office, being unable to receive mail or packages through UPS or FedEx? Tired of managing paper mail and wasting valuable time and money keeping your mail sorted? Then you need a traveling mailbox. Yes, that's right. Your very own mailbox that follows you wherever you go, anywhere in the world. Affordable, simple, flexible we help you access your mail anywhere whether at home the coffee shop a hotel across the country holiday home or place of work abroad we provide global access to your mail in PDFs access via Android and iOS or our mobile site you can even receive packages and checks and get us to mail your checks direct to your bank to be deposited Best of all, no junk mail. We can even securely shred your mail. We operate seven days a week and you are always in control. Here's how it works. One, 
subscribe to Traveling Mailbox. Two, complete the USPS 1583 form. Three, update your address with senders of your mail or issue a change of address online at usps.com. Four, as your mail arrives, we scan the envelopes and upload the contents to your online mailbox. You tell us to open and scan the contents, forward it anywhere in the world, shred it, or return it to the sender. Simple. Traveling Mailbox is a certified commercial mail receiving agency with the United States Postal Service. Traveling Mailbox. Your mail anywhere. Get yours today. It's easy. All right, so I've had this now for over a month. And in that time, I haven't gotten a ton of mail. I've gotten three letters and immediately they they send you an email and it says you've received a letter let us know what you would like to do so then you log into your account and there'll be a drop down box and it, it, you can take a look at the letter and see who it's from and if you know right away it's junk mail you can just click shred it if it says if it's something maybe from your uh, credit card company you can select to open and scan it and then you will select that and they will let you know fairly quickly you some depends what time what time of the day it is uh, if i'm catching them late late hours it might not be for three four hours but usually it's like within 30 minutes to an hour or so and they let me know hey your letter has been scanned uh you may now take a look at it and you go in and you look at it, the pages and see what your letter is and then you can either choose to shred it or you can have it forwarded to you and then it'll give you different options. Regular mail, which may only be 10 bucks. It's gonna depend which state you're in and what carriers are available there. Uh, express, uh, tracking number, just so on and so forth, DHL. Just again, it depends where, what state, what location, and who they have available. So I've already had a debit card sent to me. That was the whole reason I signed up for it and uh, they notified me they had it they scanned it i was like okay good it's the card drop down box of three different options i chose i think it was 30 dollars to have it here in about eight days it came in uh, about seven i believe uh, and the local carrier notified me signed the paper boom i had it delivered right to my house so so good deal and then what I might do later on is if there's something that I really want that is not available to send through Amazon, because Amazon, as you know, or if you don't know, has free shipping to the Philippines for many items, not all the items, but a lot. It'll say you have to put in your default address for the Philippines and Amazon, and it'll say on the item free shipping over $49 to the Philippines. Great deal. Uh, you can get much better quality than what you get over here at like shopping Lazada. So I might uh, send myself a little care package, you know, of things that I kind of miss, maybe some different foods and things like that. And uh, we'll see how it does and we'll see how much it costs. And I might check back in with you guys and let you know. But uh, so far, super happy with the service. Um, not super expensive. Now, if you are getting tons of mail that you may want forwarded to you, I could see how it possibly could get expensive. But for me, really, it's really only like a debit card or something like that that I would need forwarded to me. The rest of the time, I'm really just okay just reading it and seeing what it is and then take action from there. All right, guys, there will be a link down in the description if you want to check it out and sign up. And uh, I appreciate, as always, you guys watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.